Hello everyone, Captain John here. So this week's going to be a little different. We are going to be doing the Bus Test Express. This guy right here, minibus, we're back at it. Here relieving one of my uh, co-workers. He's going to go home for a week. This is his normal site. He's going to go home for a week, so I'm here relieving him for a week. So that way he can go spend some time with family. And this is where we're staying. Best Western Inn here in Clear Lake, California. Uh, been to Clear Lake a few times, but it's been a while. Uh, it's a really nice place. It's beautiful here, actually. It's a wooded area. You got the lake, obviously. Uh, I'm not sure how much exploring I will actually get to do here because uh, the sites I will be running throughout this week are uh, seven to seven, 12 hour sites. So that usually turns into a 14 hour day. <laughs> so really no time to go exploring. Uh, but we'll see what we can find when we're parked at one of the sites. We have like three or four different sites in this area. It's not all one place like we did in Chino. Uh, so anyways, before I show you all that, um, let's take a look at this hotel. Thankfully, right here on the same block, we have a grocery store, we have a few uh, restaurants. It looks like a Mexican restaurant over there and a few other things. Definitely uh, looking forward to trying that. So we're at the El Grande Inn, Best Western. It's definitely an older hotel. You can definitely tell when you uh, walk through this place, but it's still actually pretty cool. It's got some really cool uh, uh, design to it. So, I mean, I really don't mind if how old the hotel is, as long as the staff is nice and it's comfortable, and w which it is. The staff was super nice when I checked in, but check out this tile work at the entrance. Like I said, not a brand new hotel, but it's still very unique, and I like that. So they do have the restaurant as well. It's not open right now. They serve breakfast and dinner. All right, once you pass the lobby, they have a bar and lounge. It's not open right now. They said it opens later tonight. Uh, but yeah, there's a bar back there. You can't see it through the reflection. There's a bar, pool table. And here's the main hall. It is four floors all the way to the top. I am on the fourth floor. Uh, they have a banquet hall through those glass doors also. So it says banquet room. And you don't see this every day, an indoor pool. That's actually pretty nice. Looks like they got a pool outside as well. Or maybe that's the jacuzzi. I don't know. I guess we can go inside and take a look. Whoa, it's hot in here. Humid. Love the smell of a pool though. There's a little shower. I'm not sure what's in there. Maybe a sauna. Something scary is in there. Let's see what this is. Oh yeah, it is a jacuzzi. Uh, it's empty, that's why the door's locked. They do have a jacuzzi though, but it's outside. That's a bummer. I like the jacuzzi better than the swimming pool in my old age. Yeah, let's go upstairs and take a look at the room. We're on the fourth floor, like I said. This elevator smells better than the other one. The other one smelled like uh, someone smoked some weed in it. Uh, and I also got stuck on the elevator when I was checking in. I came back downstairs to drop off the, the cart for all my luggage. And I got to the first floor, the door wouldn't open. And I thought, well, maybe it's just slow. No, I had to push the number one by a few times. The door finally opened. It scared me for a second. Let's go check out this room. See what I mean? I'm on the fourth floor and the door, like, so slow to open. It's kind of scary. <laughs> all right. So it's a tradition now. I have to come in to all of my hotels and show you guys what it looks like. And we'll start with the bathroom here. 
We've got your coffee maker, cups for ice and all that. Nice little vanity. You can do your makeup in the morning. And the regular bathroom. Yep, it's the bathroom. Looks like it's an adjoining door. I noticed this also, the lock. I don't know if that really works because the door opens this way. So I don't know why the lock is here. I don't know, but it's locked. It's deadbolt, so we're good. No one's gonna come in and steal us tonight. And this is what we're dealing with. We got uh, two, looks like queen size beds. And you can t definitely tell by the uh, furniture and the lamps that this is definitely an older hotel. But anyways, you got your little desk here and some storage, dressers. Thankfully, they got a fridge and a microwave, which is hiding down there. Uh, they don't have a continental free breakfast, so I went across the street to that food, um, food co, I think it was called, grocery store, and got some muffins and bananas for breakfast, got some bars, and of course I got some bread and goodies for making my lunches throughout this week. Brought some stuff from home as well. Yeah, let's check out the view, or the lack of view. This is what I get to see. Some people sleeping in their cars. There, yep. All right, that's about it. That is my room. It's uh, super hot in here too. We're facing the sunset, so it's warm. <laughs> it's taken a long time for it to cool down, this older air conditioning unit that's up on the roof. Anyway, uh, that's my room, so uh, once we get to our sites, I'll definitely show you guys around. I'll document it. And yeah, thanks for tagging along. Thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. Here we go. One whole week in Clear Lake. And check out this beautiful sunset here in nice California. We are here at this Twin Pine Casino and Hotel. Actually, a decent hotel looks fairly new. We're set up right over there. They actually fed us inside the hotel, a uh, comped meal, which was very nice of them. Uh, breakfast and dinner. So uh, for breakfast, I had some eggs, and for dinner, I had a steak sandwich. It was really yummy, really good. Very nice of them to do that for us. So anyways, we're just here, about to wrap up for the night, head back to the hotel. Every day has been a different sight, so uh, this has probably been the most interesting one out of all of them. Well, the other, other ones just been in a parking lot, like a senior center or um, uh, like a health health clinic kind of thing. So really nothing interesting to show. Uh, this really beautiful area, very wooded area. A lot of uh, Mexican Americans that live here though. Uh, which is very surprising for this area because it's so beautiful. It's almost like a resort town. And I don't know, just it's a lot of druggies. Really weird. I don't know. Uh, talking to uh, one of the security guys here, uh, I mentioned it to him in conversation. He said basically a lot of people from uh, back in the day, like the 40s and 50s, you know, their ha properties are all paid for up here. So when they pass away, they, ha they hand it over to their kids and some of those kids just weren't that great tenants, I guess you could say, and uh, a lot of drugs were involved. That was what he was explaining. I don't know if that's really the reason why it, this area has a big drug problem, uh, but it's pretty, it's pretty uh, evident that it's here. It's pretty bad, which is really a shame, because like I said, it's a beautiful area. It's like a resort town, and I went on vacation here, honestly. Definitely a cold morning here, Clear Lake, California. Well, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Just a quick one. Do my quick pre-trip on this bus, the mini bus. And uh, yeah, it's gonna finish this week. It's basically been the same thing every day for the last uh, the last six days. Very boring sight. Nothing much to really report. Uh, yeah. Check out this parking job. I guess that's one way to park. So anyways, we're gonna head over to our site. 
get finishing this week out and go home and maybe spend a few days at home before I do my next adventure. So we'll see you then. All right, guys, see you down the road.